French police are on the hunt for at least one jewel thief after another daring heist in the resort city of Cannes. Police say on Sunday morning a gunman threatened to shoot vendors and guests at a jewellery exhibit at the Carlton Hotel. The robber got away with $53 million worth of precious stones and this is the third major heist in Cannes since May. It could almost be a plot out of a movie. $53 million worth of diamonds and other precious jewels stolen from an exhibition at a five-star hotel, one of the biggest jewellery heists in recent years. In the heart of Cannes, a temporary exhibition of jewels from the Le Vieve Diamond House was being displayed at the Carlton Hotel when a gunman entered the premises and stuffed a suitcase full of the gems. The hotel's location made it an easy getaway. Positioned on the Promenade de la Croisette, a long stretch of road along one of the most exclusive parts of the southern French coast, it's a busy thoroughfare, thronged at this time of year by wealthy tourists, a perfect place to disappear in a crowd. It's not the only heist that's taken place on this part of the Riviera. In May, Cannes was the scene of two other highly publicized thefts during the film festival. Cannes attracts the richest people in the world. We all know about the festival, the film festival, with all these diamonds, all these beautiful ladies who might be wearing jewellery. It might not be theirs, but it's a very fantastic platform for the jewellers to advertise their wares, so to speak. Uh, so, yeah, of course, the temptation is great for burglars to come and uh, nick the things. Uh, and you're not going to stop that. In 2008, three men in wigs stole almost every piece on display at a jewellery exhibition in Paris with an estimated value of £73 million. During the Cannes Film Festival in May this year, thieves stole jewellery worth £900,000 that was due to be loaned to movie stars from a local hotel in a pre-dawn heist. In a second theft during the festival, robbers made off with a diamond necklace with an estimated value of £1.2 million. The jewel stolen in the first Cannes robbery in May belonged to exclusive gem designer Chopard. They were to have been loaned to A-list film stars and celebrities attending the festival and were being kept in a safe in a room at the Suite Novotel in Cannes. Cannes' connection to the film world through its annual star-studded festival is well known. In fact, the Intercontinental was used by Alfred Hitchcock to film his 1955 classic, to catch a thief. Now there's a real life jaw thief for the French police to catch.